Dayton is a great place to be. We have, for, for a mid-sized city in the Midwest, we have some of the best arts and cultural venues. We've got an art museum. We have the Boonshoff uh, Museum of Natural History. We have the Air Force Aviation Museum, and we have the National Aviation Heritage Museum, which is a national park uh, over in the, off of uh, West Third here in the Wright Dunbar neighborhood. People see the Schuster Center, which is a great performing arts center, and they see the ball field. And we have Woodland Cemetery in Arboretum, which is one of the oldest cemeteries in Arboretum, so it's just a beautiful location. The Masonic Temple across the river. I mean, there's just so much to see and do. In terms of recreation, we have recreation centers where you can do sports and youth activities and things like that, and we have a, a good variety of bike paths. So if you're into biking and stuff, we have uh, some of the best bike paths in the, in the country. We have a nice little market, Second Street Market, on, that, that uh, attracts a lot of people on Saturday mornings. They go down there and hang out at the market and have breakfast and buy local grown fruits and vegetables and stuff like that. I've been all over this country and I've been to several, several countries in the world and the grass isn't greener anywhere else. You know, Dayton has got some of the most affordable housing, it's got some of the lowest cost of living and uh, the people are pretty much friendly. It's an easy enough city to get around. You can, go, you can go downtown and through it in five minutes. We're defined as the crossroads of America because we've got 75 that goes north and south and 70 that goes east and west. And uh, Dayton is probably, uh, I'm guessing, what, about five to seven miles south of that crossroads. Our airport is right at it. And we should literally become the distribution center of the, of, of the Midwest and, and most of the United States. We have UD, which brings in students from all over the place. We have Wright State, which I, probably services more than anything people, students in the region. We have Central State University, which is historically an African-American college. And we also have Sinclair Community College, which are our, our big ones. The key is we, we, we want these students to stick around after they graduate instead of going back home, wherever home is, and, and work here. I told a bunch of school kids this morning that I see Dayton as being the entrepreneur-friendly capital of the world. And uh, so I want to be a place where innovators, creators, <coughs> um, inventors, opportunists uh, come and settle and succeed.